Hi everyone! I thought I'd try something a little bit different today and do a mini travel series for you. I'm actually traveling to Portland and Seattle in a couple weeks and it's going to be about a week long trip and I thought I'd challenge myself to packing as minimally as possible because in the past I've always been a heavy packer, kind of like a just in case scenario packer and so this time because it's only a week long and I am paring down my life I thought you know why not make traveling something that I can pare down as well and so I thought I would take you in to my toiletries bag and show you what I will be packing I am pretty happy with the results and I'm pretty excited to show you so let's get into what I will be bringing on my trip. Alright, so we're about to go into my Orla Kylie for Target train case which I am going to be using for a one week trip over to the west coast. I'm going to Portland and Seattle and all of my toiletries are have fit into this case which I'm very happy about because uh, as I mentioned uh, in my intro, I am not a light packer, I've never been, but in recent years with my trying to pare down, uh, packing light has been a goal, especially now that we're trying to plan some more dedicated vacation time, I feel like packing light just makes sense. And really, it's taught me a lot about trying to find products that multitask and so you'll see some of those items here. So I've got the case here where it has actually two sections so there's the top portion and the bottom portion. In the top portion I've got my uh, own face towel here and then here there is a plastic flap that opens up to this main portion here where you can put um, a few things and I've actually chosen to put my makeup brushes. I actually have a dedicated set of makeup brushes for travel just because I found that uh, there were trips where I forgot brushes, I didn't have them clean before the trip, things like that. So this way I have a dedicated set. I don't have to worry too much about it. So I've got a big blush or powder brush um, I've got a, I think these are supposed to be sort of like eye brushes, but I'm going to treat this, this maybe as like the foundation brush, concealer brush, and then two eye brushes, which will just work out fine for me. And then a small bass bamboo comb. I love these because these are so easy to throw into your purse. Uh, they're quite small and compact made from sustainable materials which I really love and because my hair is so short now um, I really don't need to do too much with my hair which is uh, that in itself great for travel. There is a small pocket here where you can zip open for smaller items but I actually don't have anything there so So here I have the bottom portion which houses all of my main components. And there's quite a bit in here. I actually have a list of things that I'm going to throw into my carry-on so that will stay in there until the day of. And you can see that it's not very full. Um, so where do I start? Uh, I've got my toothbrush. This is my preserved toothbrush with its own little case. I've been trying to find a good, like decent, uh, foldable toothbrush, but I find that the bristles are kind of generic, very hard, and I need a soft bristle brush. So until then, this is my travel brush. This is what the inside looks like. I've kind of got everything compartmentalized, so it's a lot easier to pull out. So for example, I've got my pouch of toiletries that are all liquids, gels, pastes, things like that and let me go through that 
This is just a bag that I got from Ulta um, oh, years ago, actually, when uh, you purchased something and you got a big bag of samples for free. The samples came in this clear bag. I actually have a TSA approved clear bag, but it's actually too big and too tall for this case. So I decided to use a smaller one, which actually there's still room in here, so I'm not carrying as much as I thought, so it kind of works out perfectly. I've got my contacts case in here, which I will actually have some solution ready to go. Because this is a night flight, I'll be taking off my contacts when I get on the plane um, and then have my glasses on hand. So that will be ready to go into my uh, carry-on case. And then this will just kind of go into the overhead luggage compartment because I'm just bringing carry-on only luggage. Uh, spare contacts, because I'm a contacts wearer. I've got my contact solution. This is a nest in indigo perfume vial that's small, which works out perfectly. The cutest sample of the Josie Marin Infinity Argon Oil, which I will actually use, uh, can double as a hand cream if I want, uh, lip moisturizer, hair flyaways, and also cuticle cream, which is what I'm going to be using when I pop this into my carry on. I do have a small tube of hand cream. This is Pure and Natural by Roseberry or Figs and Rouge, I think. Oh, it's in Roseberry, but it's Figs and Rouge hand cream. Nice slim uh, tube for the plain, lightweight. This is just a reusable tin that I actually have uh, decanted some coconut oil, which I will use as makeup remover. Eye drops. These are the Cooling Comfort Redness Relief Eye Drops. I do have my Badger Balm. This is in Lavender and Chamomile Night Night Balm. So this is kind of calming. Not that I'm a nervous flyer or anything, but I just figured that, you know, just in case. And that's what it looks like on the inside. This is actually empty, but I'm going to have my toner on, uh, decanted into this. The reason why I'm bringing toner, and I normally would skip that step, is because be I'm using coconut oil to remove my makeup, and sometimes that's a little too oily for the facial bar that you will see later uh, to break down. And so the toner kind of breaks up the oils of the coconut oil before I actually wash my face. So kind of my routine there. And then I've got my Josie Marin Light Argon Oil. So this is perfect as the moisturizer that, of my choice for this trip. I'm also going to use this as uh, sort of like a moisturizer for my hair, if for flyaways, things like that. And a EO Lavender Hand Sanitizer in spray. So this is actually going to be going into my carry-on later. And then a bunch of samples. I actually have been hoarding these for trips and I'm finally being I'm finally able to use these. So what I've got is 100% pure Yuzu and Pomelo uh, cleansing, no, glossing shampoo. I've got the Naturally It's Clean Stain Eraser which uh, I can pop into my bag during the day for when we're out and about. I've got two Mychel Dermaceuticals uh, Supreme Polypeptide Cream Age Defense. I'm going to use that as moisturizer. This is a Josie Marin Limitless Pink uh, Cheek and Lip Tint Sample, which is so perfect because that way I can skip bringing a blush with me. We'll let a Wild Rose Body Lotion Samples. Tea Tree Face Mask. Uh, this is for like when we come back to the hotel and I'm just chilling out. I thought I could do a mask. Uh, my skin kind of gets really dry and it just f traveling wreaks havoc on my skin. And so I thought that would be nice to kind of calm it down and keep it clear. Alba Botanical uh, Good and Clean Daily Detox Foaming Cleanser and Toxin Release Scrub. I've got a Crystal Body Deodorant Towelette, which I'll throw into either my purse for when we're out and about, or into my carry-on so I can freshen up before our destination. This is an 
Own Skin Health Eye Cream. I've got a Tot Logic Body Lotion. I think this is supposed to be for kids, and I got it once in a conscious box, so I thought that would be good for moisturizing. I've got Times Body Lotion in Olive Leaf. L'Occitane Amand uh, Body Cream Sample, and then a Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel Oil Controlling Towelette, which I will throw into my... Uh, carry on to take my makeup off when we get on the plane. Crest Glide Floss Sample. We've got Origins Ginseng Moisturizer. The Ginseng Eye Cream. The Times Jasmine Body Lotion. And then another Times in Naya or Naya Body Lotion. And then a couple samples of the Seaweed Bath Co body lotion or body cream in lavender. So that all fits in here perfectly. I'm trying to get most of it in here so I can kind of move on. And there we have it. So that is the pouch that I'll pull out for the security check. And then next up, I've got my pouch of makeup. And this is a Rebecca Minkoff um, partnership with Ipsy a while back. And these are so perfect because they're kind of flat envelope style makeup bags. And they kind of keep everything vertical, which means that I can kind of line things up in the bag. In here, I've got some precision Q-tips for touching up eyeshadow my the all natural face vegan eye primer in buff love that this comes in a tiny little pot because then it's a solid form I don't have to worry about the liquid one which I do have upstairs in my uh, at my vanity but this is like perfect for travel so I love that I got that I have my like the remaining last bits of the blur powder from Silk Naturals so I will use that to set my makeup I love using contact cases for decanting uh, small portions of foundation. I did that for my honeymoon and it worked out perfectly, so I don't have to bring a whole product with me. So on this side, I'm actually going to have my foundation or tinted moisturizer, whichever I feel like. And then this is my Silk Naturals concealer, HD concealer in number three. And then some lip products. I've got the Too Faced in Bumbleberry. So that's what it looks like. So it's kind of more of like a nighttime color lip for maybe some dinners out. This is the NARS in Dolce Vita, which I will use as my daytime lip color. And then if I'm not really in the mood for, for a lip product or I know I'm going to be eating soon, I have my Kiki Naturals Berry Tinted Lip Balm. I love this stuff. So perfect. Just a sheer berry tinted uh, shade for your lips. Um, I use it all the time so I just love this stuff and it's so moisturizing. And then finally I've got a Glam RX palette that I got in an Ipsy bag years ago and in there I've actually got some pressed shadows. So I can't remember what these three are. I think this one is Midnight Plum from the All Natural Face. I th this one is an aroma Lee in part of the Ignis Antiquita line, and so is this one. I think this one's Cersei. Can't remember. Oh, I think that's Tomo. That's Tomo. And then I've also got what is this? Uh, Silk Naturals in History. And then this is Breezia Cosmetics Bachelor Watson. So I love this as an all over wash color and the base of my eyeshadows. So these three are normally going to be like my daytime looks and then the two purple shades are going to be for nighttime darker shades to build up as a smoky eye. So that is all the makeup that I am bringing. I'm keeping it simple and I'm really happy with what I decided to bring here because I used to pack everything. 
so that fits perfectly into this pouch. I've also got my Venus Snap Razor, perfect for travel because it comes its own breathable case. Just looks like that. I think I might need a new blade for that. My Crystal Body Deodorant Stick, which I love is in solid form so I don't have to worry about that going into a bag. A little Q-tips uh, box, so I've got some Q-tips, some floss picks, and a glasses cleaning cloth there. My e.l.f. eyelash curler. Some cotton pads for taking my makeup off. I've got uh, an Oral-B Glide Health, uh, Pro Health uh, floss sample. Ooh. And this is a Molly Muriel Goodness Naturally Soft to Silk Shampoo Bar sample that I got from, I think, also a Conscious Box. And this is a Biore Nose Strip. Thought I'd throw one in there. I've got two Lush tins here, which make for perfect traveling containers for solid items. And so this one's got my uh, current face washing item of choice, I guess, so my facial bar in here. And then in this Lush tin, I've just actually cut down the original bar of soap. So I actually had a lot more things packed in here before I kind of did a practice packing run through and decided that I really didn't need to bring a whole bar of soap, so I cut it down to a small travel size. And then what's left is just a pair of tweezers in this little back pocket here, some hair ties, and I always have one of these little binder clips, uh, like a mini one, because I find that they're so perfect for keeping those samples enclosed. So if I do have one that I am currently using but I don't want it to leak everywhere, I can just clip it uh, closed. And so, if I pack everything back in here, hopefully I can show you that it all fits. And there we have it. That is everything that I'm bringing toiletry wise. I'm so happy with this because it keeps everything contained, it keeps everything upright. I used to have a way bigger makeup bag that was kind of um, floppy and longer so I was able to fit more but it just took up so much room and with this it's a little bit more structured. It keeps everything contained, organized in their own little compartments. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the amount of things that I'm bringing for just a week-long trip. I'm sure that I'll run into a few of these items where I did, didn't even reach for them, which usually is the case, but in this case I'm actually kind of overpacking uh, my toiletries. So aside from this and my glasses case, that is all I'm bringing. As you can see, I'm very happy with the results that I have. For me, that is pretty uh, and minimal as far as I can get with what I need for getting ready in the morning and at night, taking my makeup off, um, and uh, what I'll be using for makeup. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you're enjoying this mini travel series that I've got for you. I'll have this video up first, and then I will later post a video on my in-flight essentials, so stay tuned for that. So uh, let me know what your feedback is on this mini travel series, and I will see you next time. Bye!